hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so 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 much for my last video the like the comment the subscribe thank you so much i mean thank you so so much thank you so today guys i'll be talking about things i wish i knew before getting married i feel like people don't really talk about this i mean marriage is beautiful marriage is sweet but there are some things I wish I knew before getting married. So in case you are about to get married or you're single, you're looking to get married, I would like to share some things with you. Hopefully it will help you um, to know what you're getting into or, you know, yeah. So the first thing is I wrote down, stop running to your family. I mean, when I mean your family, I mean your mom, your dad, your sister your brother cousin whatever stop running to your family to tell them about your husband when you and your husband have issues guys i'm guilty of this and i had to learn the hard way stop doing that because you have to understand you and your husband you are in the same thing you both are on the same thing and you will have an argument, you will fight, you will quarrel, but you have to understand that these are two different people, you know. He has lived his life for 20 something years or 30 something years before you got married. You have lived your life for so long as well, 20 something years or 30 something years, whatever you lived before you got married. So you guys are two different people, you will fight. So when you run to your family and tell them issues, even when it's just little issues, when you and your spouse make up and you forgive him or vice versa he forgive you or whatever your family won't forget they will look at your spouse with that eyes that oh so this person can do such a thing like is this this is, is this the attitude like this person has you know which is not good because at the end of the day you are forgetting you are forgiving this person but they don't see it like that they, they can never see it like that that is your husband. You're selling your husband out. Or vice versa, you're selling your wife out. So it's best you, you sort out issues yourself as much as you can rather than running to family or friends, you know. So yeah, I have to learn that the hard way. And that, that one, that one, if I, that's probably the biggest thing. If I have to advise anybody that's getting married, that's one thing. I, if I, that would be the top, I would say. I just keep things to yourself. Sort your issues out no marriage is perfect don't run outside to tell someone issues about your home when you can sort it out yourself so yeah or else of course it's like if it's like big issues like maybe violence or something of course that one is totally different you can get help for that that, that one is totally different you can get help for that so yeah my number two one is enjoy your single hood like no one told me this you know when i was single i remember i wanted to get married i mean marriage is beautiful like i say marriage is beautiful but that freedom is not there anymore you're busy you know you have to think about this person you have to think about yourself you have to think about you know when you have children you have to think about the children you can't just get up and travel it's a lot <laughs> It's a lot. So, yeah, I would say enjoy your single, like travel, do whatever you want, sleep and watch TV all day, whatever you want to do, do it. Because the moment you get married, you start having kids, it's a, it's a different ball game. It's, it's really like you'll be so busy that you don't have time to do those little things that you take for granted. You, you won't have time to do that. So, yeah, the number three point is you will never know who you're getting married so i don't care you can date each other for 10 years five years three years two years one year two months okay maybe two months is too short but yeah you will never know who you're getting married to until you get married yeah you'll be so surprised that ah, you'll be asking yourself, is it the same person that is it ah, is it is this you is this is this really you when you get married you find out that you find new things about each other Things that you never expect, like 
maybe the way the person do things is different from the way you do or you force the person do things this way and you jump into the marriage the person don't do things that way you know i mean these are two different people like i say you've lived all these years apart and now you're together so you need to learn to compromise yeah so the person you're with is not what you think it will be number four point is stop taking advice from like people you know like people you know that they don't really want well for you for the marriage you know, i mean that sounds so harsh but stop taking advice from anybody yeah stop taking advice from anybody take advice from someone that you know in your heart you know that you want they want your marriage to work take advice from someone that you know have experience someone that will not take your business and gossip so uh, that that is very important because if not i mean that's your marriage that's your home or your marriage being like the talk of town and that kind of thing which is not good so you have to talk to someone that you know wants the marriage to work that wish you well that wish your home well that wants to see you grow yeah and the number five point is i think i mentioned something like this but there's no more alone time forget it there is no more alone time like oh my god i've got two beautiful beautiful kids my first is almost three years old and my second is seven months old sometimes i wonder like i don't have don't have time i don't have time for anything and it just makes you think that oh when i was single what was i doing you know there's so much you just take advantage of your single days basically because the moment you jump in, you start having kids, you don't have any time. Some You don't have time sometimes for your husband. You don't because as a mom, I know other moms will, will relate. As a mom, you tend to put more time on your kids without even knowing you're doing it. You will put more time on your kids than your husband. So oh, the truth is, sometimes when I look back, I mean... I don't regret having my kids obviously i love them to death but when i look back i wish we waited like maybe a year to stay together before having children because like i got married in um august 2017 um like on the 5th of august 2017 i got married and instantly i got pregnant like after the wedding like wedding night or so i got pregnant so it was so quick like we just started having kids immediately after marriage so sometimes when I think about it, I did wish we waited like a year or even a year plus to spend more time together, understand ourselves before having children. Yeah. And number six points, which is the, my final point is sex in marriage. <laughs> sex in marriage is not sex in relationship. <laughs> yeah. So... You know when you're married or should i say when you're in a relationship is quick quick is you know every day hot and in marriage every day hot but you go to work you come back you're tired your husband go to work you come back sometimes you find that at two days you've not had sex not because you don't want to but because you are tired your 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 stress you know so sex in marriage is that you have to put conscious efforts sometimes you have to put conscious efforts you have to know that okay we like i'm not saying you should do timetable no 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 but you have to put in more efforts because life takes over sometimes when you're married but you know when you're when you're dating you you're you you make out time for each other to meet right you it's not really in your business you're not in his business it's different when you're when you when you're in a relationship compared to when you're married. So basically, marriage is you have to make more time for yourself. Basically, yeah, you have to make more time for yourself. You have to make conscious efforts to spend more time together. Because I mean, the moment you start having children, you have no time. So you have to make time in spending um make time for yourself as a husband and wife. So that's my six points of. The things I wish I knew before getting married, guys. 
so thank you so much for watching please follow my instagram my facebook at blessing home now and that's the i'll put it on this description box thank you so much guys bye